Howdy folks, uh, this is a related uh, segment of the discussions of oil tankers. So we will be talking about uh, very large crude carrier and uh, this is for the uh, series of oil tanker ship uh, discussions. And before we start, as I tour you along with the uh, BLCC ships, uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed in this channel. And if you like it, please click the press uh, button. Thank you. So here we are on the main deck of the uh, very large crude carrier ship. This is the uh, end direction for the pump room. And on the left, as uh, I'm pointing right now, is the so-called uh, deck water seal. That is the uh, main barrier for the non-hazardous uh, and uh, hazardous area. So it's basically where the inner gas system is connected. So uh, we'll have a several discussion of this uh, deck water seal uh, for oil tanker segment uh, lectures in the next uh, few uh, uploads soon so as we move along uh, this is the uh, we are actually on top of a slab port uh, cargo oil tank and this is a uh, PV breakers and, uh, this one the pipeline uh, with the uh, painted uh, or color black is uh, heating coils heating coils are of course uh, part of uh, cargo oil tanks wherein uh, the cargo is uh, required to be heated uh, especially if it has to maintain with especially if it has to be maintained with temperatures and also of course to lower the viscosity so that it will be easier to discharge so as we uh, walk uh, and uh, go through the forward part of area you'll find there on the starboard side i'm pointing also uh, with a corso uh, that's a uh, green uh, covered uh, with tarpaulin canvas uh, that is a so-called mooring winds on the left of that is of course is uh, another mooring winds. It's uh, located in front of the accommodation. Uh, it's basically used for mooring and uh, mainly for spring and uh, breast line. So that's the one. And uh, you see that covered uh, with tarpaulin again is a sounding system. It's a radar type. That box uh, rectangular color white is basically is a weather personnel uh, cover. So in case of shipping sprays and waves or waters that goes into the deck then uh, they can be uh, safely uh, protected in any eventualities so as we move along, as we go on we are looking at uh, some other pipelines for pieces uh, blinds and of course uh, bulbs some bulbs are uh, pneuma uh, whether they can be hydro hydraulic operated or pneumatically operated and uh, you can see also these uh, lines they are color coded in yellow blue and red those are the main three cargo lines so we'll go to the pump room in the next episode and i'll show you uh, those uh, systems uh, that you'll find in there and that's the uh, starboard side accommodation ladder uh, on the starboard side and of the opposite of course is the port side accommodation ladder and if you notice also uh, this vessel is quite huge it's about 332 meters long that's about one third of a kilometer so it's quite huge it's about 314,000 dead weight tons and it's categorized as a big LCC or very large crude carrier it's just 6,000 tons uh, shy to be categorized as ULCC ultra large crude carrier we are now approaching on the catwalk on, on top of the uh, crossovers of the so-called uh, manifold area wherein you'll find here the uh, loading and discharging uh, connections of uh, hoses or chicksons whether they are alongside terminals or uh, doing uh, single point mooring or single boy mooring SPM and SPM so you'll find here also the connections for bunkers like uh, diesel oils and fuel oils. So you'll notice here this white uh, rectangular box is a so-called deck store. They are located on board, both fort and starboard. And um, normally you'll find their equipments uh, wherein like, of course, tank cleaning, portable tank cleaning machines and other uh, cargo hoses, spool pieces, uh, reducers and so many other things that, is, uh, that are related for uh, cargo equipment. You notice also that some uh, uh, of the uh, water hose are already laid in place because the vessel is going alongside, uh, making her way approaching the uh, terminal. So as we uh, go on, uh, you'll notice also there are uh, color-coded lines with the painted with red and yellow. The red is the uh, main water line and the yellow is the foam uh, firefighting system. So some, of course, uh, vessels have their uh, inner cast uh, painted with uh, gray. So uh, sometimes uh, they are just uh, painted like uh, red. In this case, uh, this vessel has a uh, color painted uh, red only. That one is a uh, mass riser. You will find them uh, very common on board any kind of tankers. 
ito. Ayan. Of course, uh, they have a same, uh, similar uh, principle in terms of the uh, operational application. So, to release the pressure, vapor, purging, inner thing, etc. and so on and so forth. So, those are bent mass riser as we call it. And they are interconnected with the bends and port spike uh, of each tongue. As look at this one, those pointed, uh, pointed tips. Those are PB breakers, so pressure vacuum breaker. We'll have a separate discussion of this as well in the future. And that's a pump monitor on top. And this is an emergency connection for IG. IG can be also supplied in the uh, uh, ballast tank if necessary for uh, safety uh, prevention. And in case there's, there are fire or leakage of ingress of cargo towards those areas. Of course, uh, this is a double hull, double bottom vessels and they are quite huge and large and we are now actually approaching the uh, backside area or forward part of the vessel so you can see here uh, we are already uh, making our way there so uh, if you take a walk of course it would take, take you about 10 minutes or 15 minutes depending on how, or how quick your uh, walk is and that's how long it is this kind of vessel these are another winches for the forward area and as we approach uh, the winches on the pack cell or port castle right on the beneath it is the uh, uh port castle room or pack cell room and of course uh, you'll find there inside are other uh, mooring equipments and some other equipments uh, you'll find also the chain lager uh, beneath that area this is a windlass on the port side for the anchor and a combination with winches for the mooring and as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, ropes are already in place as well and because the basin is just uh, basically uh, on her way or making her way alongside. So this is the forward uh, anchor port side and that's the uh, chain stopper on the port side and of course some other related equipment for mooring operation. That's a small crane. This is the emergency towing apparatus, port and starboard and you'll find the green covered uh, canvas there. This is the port fifth bend of breather and the starboard uh, windlass and anchor and winches as well on the starboard side of the uh, back cell deck area right. so uh, I'll find some time to uh, animate or give a simulation demo on how this works so uh, most winds are of course are uh, hydro hydraulic operated some are pneumatic and some are uh, electric uh, operated especially in different ships uh, like uh, car carriers and containers, so they are uh, electrically operated. In most uh, tankers, they use hydraulic or pneumatic type of uh, winds operated. So as you can see, uh, I mentioned already that this is about 332 meters long and 16 meters wide or breadth, so it's quite huge. Normally, uh, they do not pass through Suez Canal and Panama because of their sizes. But nowadays, uh, if the vessel is not more than carrying 2 million barrels, of oil then basically uh, they are allowed to pass through as a partially loaded uh, tankers in the Swiss area uh, you have to check that of course in the regulation but as far as I know they are already allowed and mostly they can also pass through in uh, ballast passings so like that. you find here also uh, these those yellow markings and lines are the uh, helicopter winds uh, area so it cannot land because of the uh, obstruction like pipe so winds only is allowed. Some vessels are capable of uh, having those helicopters land and uh, of course offload pilots and other personnel on top of it. But in this case, this vessel has only for winds only, especially for tankers. <coughs> Again, uh, those covered uh, with uh, yellow and uh, some are uh, with the uh, canvas are good oil washing machines and cleaning machines. So we are approaching on the port side, uh, starboard side of the uh, manifold again and that one is uh, sometimes we call as a baraka or a deck store, most common term, terminology in shipping. Right. So you'll find there other equipment such as chain blocks, uh, uh, lashing equipment and other uh, related equipment. This is the manifold area and as you can see there are also oil spill material equipment here like for SOPEP. So it's being prepared for uh, cargo operations. So this will be the area wherein the hoses or chicksons or manifold can be connected. The LCCs are normally, um, of course, uh, uh, can do STS or ship to ship. And while the smaller, smaller vessel, of course, will deliver the cargo in the uh, inner areas of uh, uh, 
uh, terminals because uh, they are uh, shorter and smaller in size. That one over there on the right or just in front is uh, main PB breakers which is connected on the uh, main line for the cargo pipings. So in many cases there are overpressurized so it will relieve the pressure so that the, the pipe won't burst. This is the starboard side accommodation ladder or gangway. It is a pneumatic operated type and uh, it's uh, very easy to operate. Two men can actually uh, prepare that uh, if it's needed or required for embarkation, disembarkation of personnel or even pilots. So as you can see, this is the main superstructure in color that uh, painted in yellow or dark uh, white or dirty white. So that is uh, uh, that area is where you find all the accommodations for the officers and crew, including all the offices. Uh, and then navigating bridge, of course, and uh, other uh, uh, rooms, such as uh, recreation rooms, uh, dining rooms, or mess rooms for officers and group, galley, and so on and so forth. You'll find also other uh, rooms, such as safety rooms and firefighting rooms. So, this is just a quick overview anyway. Uh, it's a bit long, but uh, I'm just touring you around, uh, telling you things. Uh, but uh, we'll go to them one by one. When I, uh, whenever I have the chance. As you can see it's quite long. Right. So, of course, ultra large scroll carrier are even longer. The uh, largest one uh, existing It's no longer uh, operational. It's the so called uh, Sea Wise Giant. It's about 450 meters long, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's quite huge and large. But this one is a BLCC and still huge and large. This is the starboard lifeboat. And uh, we are approaching the poop deck area where you'll find the uh, aft deck uh, mooring station and of course the funnel area. And these are other added equipment for your uh, oil pollution gears or equipment. And you know, if you'll notice, there is a pipe uh, going through the railings just on the uh, seaboard, uh, seaside. And that is for the uh, safety measures for anti piracy. So we'll have a separate discussion of that as well in the long run if uh, I find some time to do so. So this is the uh, pop deck area where you'll find the um, mooring winches for the vessel. That's the panel. So this is the area of course on the port side. And we are making a roundabout and going back to the uh, half of the accommodation or supply structure. So uh, there you go, uh, you can notice here also there are the emergency generators and steering gear room entry entrance, also the inner gas system as well, you'll find in here and probably the incinerator room. And as we uh, go back, um, this is area, this area is the uh, lifeboat port side, alright, so yeah.